Hello, Civ Fanatics, and welcome to Let's Play Civilization for Hall of Fame with me, Novo Zarkon. If you're not familiar with the Hall of Fame, there is a video about it explaining it all. But the, the basic idea is that players can submit their games and have them ranked against other players based on the difficulty level, the game speed, the size of the map, and the victory condition. So today we're going to be playing on a Prince map, we're going to be playing on um, Epic Speed, Tiny Archipelago, and aiming for a time victory. And we're going to be playing as Elizabeth of England. Um, Elizabeth is philosophical, um, so that means 100% birth rate for great people, and double production speed of university. Two very powerful ones you can get an early great academy, you can get a great academy, great scientist for your academy. Universities are quite a tough build because they're not boosted by anything, so, so that's a really, really good um, good trait. So philosophical, very strong trait. Even stronger is financial, plus one commerce on plots with two commerce. Um, it sounds simple, but it is, it's, it's actually very, very impactful. Um, all these coast towers on archipelago map will um, be three commerce, so that's really good. We start with fishing, again archipelago map, great, and mining, excellent, worker tech. We have the stock exchange which replaces the bank, gives you 65% gold instead of 50%. We have the red coat, rifleman, a gunpowder unit. To be honest I doubt whether this will have much of an impact in the game. The way I, I try to play time games is to eliminate the eyes as credible threats long before we get to, to gunpowder. Um, the, the English Empire, as it's styled in here, has three leaders. It has Liz that we're playing, it has Victoria, and it has Churchill. Now, technically, only one of these actually led England, because uh, by, um, I think, about 100 years after Elizabeth's reign, um, we moved the Union of the Crown between England and Scotland, um, and then we became the United Kingdom or Great Britain. There is lots and lots of confusion um, in this game of style myself and Noble Zark from Britain. Uh, you just easily have said the UK, I guess. So we have generated our start using a map finder. If you're not familiar with map finder, then there is a separate video about that you might want to have a look at, but basically it's a tool for generating uh, maps automatically and then saving them that those that meet the criteria. So let's play Civilization Four Hall of Fame. So as I say, you can set criteria. Now one of the criteria I say was stars which had both stone and marble, and this is what we have. Um. It can be quite tricky on um, a tiny archipelago. I had one game I played out for a bit for those actually no stone whatsoever on the map. So, I've got to think about where we settle. A couple of options. We could settle a city there. It would be a strong one. And was that a grass? That's a grassland hill. I don't want to be settling on the grassland hill. So certainly a city on the stone would give us two uh, hammers in our, our centre. This would be a, a good one, just the, the corn, but these are grasslands, so, so that would be fine. That's maybe a second city. You could settle on the marble for three hammers, but that means you would need to settle on the grassland hill, which I don't think would be a great idea. So yeah, I think we'll go up here for our capital. Um, yeah, these are going to be two two one tiles. This will have two hills to work. I think I think that's okay. So let's set on London, and we get even more um, food. That's really really good. We could. Go for that and we'll work here. Yeah, we'll work that to get the work put out now. One of our key things is going to be going and killing 
in one of the eyes and exhaling what the other one to a tiny um, ice island. So we'll go sailing first. We'll want to put everything towards that. Seems we've got ivory here, we may well use elephants, catapults, that's, it gives us a little bit of time to uh, do that without the AI getting too far away, hopefully on Prince. I did play a one test game where I played out to Rifleman and it was just a nightmare. Even on Prince the, the eyes are, are competent. I think I'll stand there for a moment in case anyone comes wandering there. Okay, we're going to get the two other work boats for these two, but I'll send them... Um, I'll send them exploring before I actually net these fish. It'll grow very quickly with that fish. You can't direct the wind. Let's go hunting, hunting, agriculture, and animal husbandry. Now we don't have a lot of commerce, so let's apart from the fishing tails. Once I've got this work port, I'll get my settler from the city down there because the sooner you get that second city, that's just another production queue. And there's Hatshepit. The two AIs in the game are Hatshepit and Gandhi. That's excellent. Hatting Gandhi chose, they will spend the early turns founding religions and building missionaries, etc. So, nothing too drastic for we are getting ready to kill them. Right, got a settler, sent him this way. It'd be good to get eyes on our capital, we just have some sort of flat ground, that's good. And you can try things like war warrior rushes, etc. But with with either of there, might as well make use of it. It's slightly longer, but yeah, we're saying that's interesting. That looks like she's on a really big continent. We actually just want to raise that because I don't know. Got to keep under the uh, domination limit. That may be a bit of a struggle. Or potentially you could could always just give that city away. Only well, raising it doesn't make a lot of sense at this stage because that domination level is not going to be a problem for a long time to come. Now I need to watch that because that that may work, but it may not. I may have to declare one Hattie just to get through. Uh, there's always a danger with automation um, when you can't actually see the route that it decides to do something stupid. I think I'll move him back because clearly there's nobody there. shall be the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. I could just go straight to writing, eh, get open borders, and get, get a library. Actually, I think there's a lot of sense in that. Skip the field and pottery for the moment. Get a library on which will power our research. Three to our... Like, 
we do have a we do have a few a few tags we need um, for elephants. Yeah, done that again. Try to try to sell it a route we can't see. Now that is actually if we do need to uncover that. So there is always a possibility that it's close there. Seems unlikely, but we should check it. Okay, settler, now let's get a worker. Should get masonry as well. Yeah, it's not. Okay. 11 turns until. Borders open. Yeah. Again, there's no guarantee he can get back. So we'll just leave him there. See if he can get there. And if not, we'll call him back to London to improve. Cardiff is founded on turn 52. Yeah, that would make sense. Get a galley out. Judaism's going already. Don't you? Gandhi and Hati, they're going to concentrate on the religious path. True glory consists in doing what deserves to be written, in writing what deserves to be read. Right, you need horseback riding, stable, you need maths and construction. And we'll need currency to support it all. And to have signed open borders. Excellent. Thank you, my dear. Much appreciated. Library. Need masonry. It's a bit silly. I think he's gone as far as he can, so let's bring him back. Good, because having anything else that is more um, commerce. Yeah, let's get that library built as quickly as possible. If yeah, Cardiff can box the camp. It is 
And it just needs border to explore, ex expand. Gonna need that. Oh, Gandhi. Fully reachable then, that's good news. Return 75, make candy. Yeah. Contain our espionage on. Okay. There's candy down there. Max, I think that's not going to be obvious. So, in case I don't forget to see him again. Sure. Yeah, I don't think that word boat's coming back anytime soon. So let's build another one for London. It's probably a mistake not to have done that earlier. But you think about everything we've built. We've got a settler, we've built a worker. We've, yeah, I mean, it's hard to see what else we would have built instead. Well, look how close we are to circumnavigation. That's how close we are and that we've achieved it. Excellent. Really good news. So come a uh, biggie shot. You can stay there. Okay, we've got a library. We'll let it grow before we start running two scientists. I think a settler, yeah. yeah except it's not going to grow while we're building a settler. Oh. Uh, we don't have roads yet. Time to go back and explore this area around about Gandhi. I guess the one thing we may be sure to go slavery so we can quit. If you speak the truth, have a foot in the stirrup. Delhi's, Delhi's on. That's the second time recently I've seen an uh, AI be generated on a resource, which is very unusual. Yeah, so on sink, on silk, not sink. Yeah, that's nice. Two silk. All right. Do we want 
here. Alex. Stable for not expanding our borders. So. We don't have. Uh, we don't have. Where are we at? Got some basic techs. We are missing. Yeah, we're going to chop that in a minute. Go for, go for slavery. Let's see if they have any iron. Any copper, sorry. It is entirely seemly for a young man killed in battle to lie mangled by the bronze steel. In his death, all things appear fair. Nope, nope. Now the hat in our candy I've got metal, so that's good. It's going to explore automatically now. And after this get sell her. your shoulder to the wheel. Okay, we're getting there. I'll only put a stable in London, I think. Because I'll need ships and I'll need um, trebuchets. So I'm going to to sell it from there. There's the island of Ireland, but where is Scotland? <laughs> We, yeah, actually, he can go and uh, have a quick look. Yeah, I don't, I don't really want to chop that until I've got mass. Yeah, there's no food there. So that would be a decent city. Probably you need your borders to expand. You're not going to get two cities on there, are you? So no, I think I think we'll put a city there. That's not how I want you to run that road. I would rather you run it like that. <laughs> it's almost like British leg, isn't it? 
Kingdom. If in other sciences we should arrive at certainty without doubt and truth without error, it behooves us to place the foundations of knowledge in mathematics. Yeah, I guess you can put one at a time into a road. First, can contribute to the war effort by building a galley. That soldier was meant for there, but never mind. I'm sent on down to Edinburgh. Yep, and they can build a galley as well. Probably nine tons. Now, yeah, first of all, exploring what we bought. I should get an eye on these two cities that have been founded. Does that mean going past Gandhi's land? If so, oh, he's got what's down there. I wonder if he knows. Not yet, it would appear. And on the pedestal, these words appear. My name I'd like to know where the iron is. Look on my works, ye mighty, and despair. Oh, never talk to something. Oh, It's probably A. And feature the gallery, so Candy's got three. Perfect. 
turn let's turn it on I would like it to go into Canada. I don't know if it really needs to spread its borders. Yep, there's Memphis. Crapulative city with no food. Should go in there, she could have got fish and ice, but no. It's on a called Christianity, it's for the city, it's like for I feel like Memphis City. Keep How many guys have we got? We have got four, yeah, I think we need six. Our different list has got something, got religion. You should hammer your iron when it is glowing hot. She's got iron up there if she knows about it. She's got iron there. And we have got iron. Excellent. That turns that useless little city. Not useless, but it makes that city vision be even more powerful. Even better choice. We need currency. To make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor. Yeah, what have we got now? We've got three more elephants. Let's get ourselves to have two catapults.
Lots of religion spreading. No, I know what you need actually. Let's get a galley and then a settler because you will need to give away the city to one of these two, only Gandhi. Let's hat his first of all. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. We need 12. Military units, we currently have six. Now, that may actually be in. Let's get another two, and let's get. Yeah. Everything is worth what his purchaser will pay for. Yeah, I don't know if I'll actually get tributaries into this, into either of these wars, but we'll go down that route anyway. No, I think we should probably a couple of cats for the reinforcements. Okay, so I need to work out where they are dumping Gandhi or whoever it is I dumped. That's annoying. Right, next time there's a war. Them that take the sword shall perish by the sword. Now, yeah, one lesson I've learned from some other games. So you want to move these out of harm's way, just in case. Just 
to a man with the cottage then because production is such at uh, such a premium. Sixty nine to twenty eight, so next turn should be able to get that right down. So we will just wait a turn. I wouldn't I wouldn't spend four or five turns for down as AI sometimes do, but a couple of turns, yeah sure. And in the last five, or I probably bear salt now, causing some collateral damage. So they've got an archer, swordsman, and an archer. So let's just go, yeah, 96, I like those odds. He's definitely going to be facing the melee unit, so let's go over there. Invisibility elephant. So we have captured a Grania lighthouse, the Mahadobe. Just the Buddhist Holy Shrine, Stonehenge, the Oracle, and the Great Wall. Cool. What we don't have is actually to build cheap archers for defense. Yeah, see, this would be no. This is an awfully police city. Do not throw the arrow, which will return against you. You can't see me get attention here in time, but who knows, just in case there's any problem. So he's wandered away, which is helpful. Next man in the match, okay. I thought that may have happened. Yeah, This could be our medic elephant. Decent chance, but not guaranteed. So Hattie has another city up here. That's fine. They were going okay. So in fact, yeah. Do fine. Oh, 
What was that city called? Memphis, yeah. Okay, that's the end of the first episode. Tantalizing away, we've captured Thebes of Rays, Memphis. But there is another city to go and deal with, so we'll do that next time. This is Nobles Archon saying thank you very much for being with me today. Please do like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and come along to fanatics.com and introduce yourselves to us. I would love to get to know you on the forums. Until next time, take care and bye for now.